All right, so I've got my SVG that I exported from Illustrator, and I've got my code for them. And what I want to do is animate these little um, pupils to move around when I hover my mouse over them. So I'm going to ignore um, everything that's down here except for the names of the IDs. And I'm going to go up in my head section and just make some style tags, and then I'm going to mess with the CSS. Um, so I'm going to have um, just the pupils, and so remember I called them right black and left black. So I'm going to have those guys um, when I hover, and I want to do it to both of them, so I'm going to put it with a comma. I want to have them um, move. So um, that's a transformation, so let's transform. And I want to translate them. I want to move them um, in a straight line. And you have some options here. You can translate them side to side using translate X, or you can translate them um, up and down using translate Y. So I'm going to do that. And I want to move them negative 10 um, pixels. Oops. All right. And let's see what that looks like right now. All right, refresh this page. Here's my hover. OK, so it went up 10. When I release, it's coming back down. Now you notice it's just snapping; it's not animating. So if I want it to slowly slide up, I have to put a uh, timer on it. And so I'm going to select these guys without hover, and I'm going to put a transition time on them. And let's just have it be two seconds. So now these guys should move a little bit slower and more smoothly. Now it slowly went up and it's going to slowly come back down when I release the hover. Okay, um, like I said, if you if you wanted to do it side to side, you can make this X instead of Y. Let's do it a little bit more so it's it's more dynamic. Let's do 20 pixels. Um, it's probably going to leave the eye. That's my guess. Yeah, there it goes way over there. Well, oh, he's cross-eyed. That's weird. All right. Um, so that's how you can translate a piece of this thing. Um, what you might want to do is not have it translate when you hover, but instead just be running an animation over and over again. And so I'm going to remove this, and I'm going to take the hover off these guys. And what we're going to do is make a trans um, an animation, so I'm going to delete that also. And so the first thing I'm going to do is define what the animation looks like. And it works almost like Flash or another software like that where you make keyframes, um, but you're defining them in code instead of as a picture. Um, and you have to choose a name for your animation. I'm going to call mine Shifty because it's going to make his eyes shift around. Um, and I've got a set of curlies around this whole thing. And then I have to set where my keyframes are um, in terms of percentages of the amount of time that this thing is going to be animating. So I'm going to say at 50% through the animation, I want it to transform the eye. Um, I'm going to translate to Y. I'm going to make negative 20 pixels. So at halfway through, it's going to be um, up on the screen by negative 20, because remember, the coordinates are 0, 0 in the upper left-hand corner. And when it's fully finished animating, it's going to be back where it started. I'm going to steal this and put it right here. It's going to translate back. Um, to zero pixels, which is where it started out. And once I've defined this, and I can put as many stop points in this as I want, I can do like 25%, 50%, 75%, 100%. We'll break it down even further. I can have as many steps in the animation as I want. But once I've defined this, I can go back up to these guys and tell them to have um, this particular animation. So that actual uh, property is animation. And you have to tell it a couple things. So I have to tell it the name of the animation, which is Shifty, which is the name I chose down here. I have to tell it how long to last. Let's make it five seconds. Um, I can give it an easing function. Um, that's kind of like, does it go faster at the beginning and slow down? Or does it go faster, slower at the beginning, speed up a little, and then go slow again, which is what ease and out does? And then the last um, thing I can list here is how many times I want it to repeat. Well, generally, I want my animation to just um, be infinite and essentially loop forever. So I'm going to make it infinite. And now this is going to play without me having to interact with it. So let me refresh this page and show you what it looks like. 
Okay, so his eyes are floating up and then back down and then up and down. And that's cool, um, but it, wouldn't it be better if they were going in opposite directions? And so what I can do is I can take um, one of these eyes and I can tell it to wait um, to play the animation um, till whatever amount of time I want. So if I want them to be exactly opposite in direction, then I want to put an animation delay of 2.5 seconds on this thing, and I'm choosing that number because my overall animation time is 5 seconds. So this will wait till the animation is halfway done on the left eye before it starts animating the right eye. Let's show you what that looks like. Now he has googly eyes that move separately from each other. Yay.